This is Fortis coming to you with another how-to video. Today we are talking about how to install the Rev2 rail and the end plate. And so once you have your barrel nut to around, you know, uh, they recommend 30 to 80 pounds for these mil spec. Um, I like mine around 50, um, but whatever you can get to time it is good within that range. So this is the end plate with the four screws. So you just put it, drop it in there so and I'll always on one of these screws I always recommend putting a little uh, Loctite on there just the blue stuff not, nothing, too, nothing too serious but you just put a little dab on there set it in there so what I'm doing with my other hand is I'm kinda uh, bridging the, the rail and the upper receiver the top and so I can make sure that it stays aligned as I screw this in So I'm just taking it to a point where it's not super snug, but it's on there. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that these two sides of the rail have equal spacing before I go too far. So basically just turn, 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 working yourself in a figure eight pattern. And then what you want to do, once you get it nice and to a point where it feels pretty snug, you go ahead and grab uh, whatever inch pounds torque wrench you have. This is our fat wrench from Wheeler that we use. So it's set at 20. And then you just turn it. And as you can feel it tighten, you kind of move to the other screws. Still lined up top. So it's good to check once in a while where you are in the spacing. Still pretty good. Usually 20 inch pounds doesn't sound like a lot, but it's more than what you, more than uh, enough for this. Um, if you've ever installed an optic, you know 20 pounds is probably the maximum that you want to put those at. Okay, so there we have it. 20 inch pounds, good spacing as well as proper alignment at top. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps.